KTC Weatherland. Here's Rob's forecast. Welcome back and welcome back to the new work and school week. Plenty of clouds out there. That hasn't changed. It was quite warm this afternoon, but we've cooled off a little bit thanks to a frontal boundary that is sagging southward to the coast, but it moves back to the north tomorrow, courtesy of a strong storm system that's coming out of the southwest U.S. We'll get to that in just a bit. The next big weather maker for sure. So let's go outside. Darius Johnson first off getting our weather shot uh, this evening. Lots of clouds across the area. A few intervals of sun and the trees are greening up big time. So there's lots of pollen in the air. So a lot of folks are suffering with that as well. Maybe some showers to clean off some of the pollen, but I think it's only going to get worse in the weeks ahead. So let's go ahead and take a look at the big picture across the lower 48. And you'll notice winter storm warnings from uh, Colorado up into Wyoming. Blizzard warnings for western portions of Nebraska and northeastern Colorado all ahead of the storm system in the west that's producing snow, believe it or not, all the way down into the Mexican mountains here. Heavy rainfall moving through the desert southwest. The threat of snow, uh, mainly Sedona on eastward in uh, in portions of Arizona, and you can see those snow advisories into Colorado as well. And they've had major issues with avalanches. They're triggering avalanches on purpose across the Colorado Rockies because there have been some roadways across southwestern Colorado and the San Juan Mountains and the Intermountain West uh, that have been blocked by those avalanches where some roads are closed because of 20, 30, 40 feet of snow in the roadways from avalanches. No such worries around here, just cloud cover. That's the only white avalanche we have around here. We do have some showers off to the north earlier today, north of a frontal boundary that's been sagging southward. This is how we started off this morning, near 70 degrees, but this quasi stationary frontal boundary, not so quasi, uh, and actually making a move to the south this afternoon. Temperatures have been cooler to the north and we got up to 82 but now starting to cool down should get into the lower 60s and this front gets down to the coast as we head through tomorrow morning but then moves back northward as a warm front not expecting any precip with it maybe a light sprinkle or misty drizzle overnight tonight through tomorrow morning as that warm front moves back to the north all the action will be watching back to the west as we go into tomorrow evening and into Wednesday morning the threat of severe weather strong to severe storms Texas Oklahoma and these are only going to be pushing eastward with that severe weather threat uh, more than likely continuing into the Arklatex into Arkansas. Notice the models really like an uptick on activity uh, in the same spots that had the severe weather threat a couple of days ago and then maybe here locally but not likely it's going to get breezier tomorrow and then windy as we get into Wednesday and then Thursday a good chance of scattered showers uh, maybe some thunder but I'm not looking at a severe weather threat here locally for now. The biggest severe weather threat through tomorrow night into early Wednesday across Texas. Then we get into Thursday, Wednesday night into Thursday. We're hatched in for a marginal risk, but I think that marginal part of the risk may disappear on the southern end and then increase uh, maybe to a slight risk as you go farther to the north. Temperature wise tonight down into the upper 50s, northern parishes of Acadiana, lower 60s, I-10 corner and low to mid 60s along the coast. And then after that coolish start, we'll warm back up tomorrow afternoon. I think we get back into the mid to upper 70s tomorrow afternoon. We stay in the upper 60s to near 70 tomorrow night and will certainly be windy and warm as we head into Wednesday. Temperatures once again in the mid to upper 70s, maybe pushing 80 degrees. So a little bit cooler tonight, mostly cloudy skies, uh, drizzle, mist and fog, mainly near that front, near the coast, 63 the low, 77 is the high I'm going to go back with, uh, with a nice warm up tomorrow afternoon. Breezy east to southeast winds, but those winds go from breezy on Tuesday to windy on Wednesday. 40% chance of storms Wednesday might go up to 50 to 60 percent Wednesday night, early Thursday, and then look at the cool down as we head into the weekend. Hopefully the rain chances will be done with, uh, but we can tell you this temperatures will be closer to the upper 50s to lower 60s for three days, Friday, Saturday and Sunday, and then gradually warming back up as we go deeper into next week. But it looks like a relatively quiet period so we can get out and work the lawns, the mm -hmm. gardens and whatever you have Let's going brave on. Brave that outdoors. pollen out there. Yeah, right? you kind of brave that light green coating everywhere. It's everywhere. Right. Thanks, Rob.